Since the destruction of the Second Temple and the beginning of the Long Exile, the Jewish story has been beset with tribulations, riots, and persecutions that have ravaged much of the people. Hundreds of thousands of Maranaos in Spain and Portugal have been forced to convert. Survivors of the torture chambers of the Inquisition, who were also burnt at the stake in the New Continent. Those who were banished were tossed to the far corners of the earth, haunted by pogroms and decrees of extermination. The Holocaust destroyed 40% of the people and even the establishment of the State of Israel did not guarantee the future of the Jewish people. Today, the phenomenon of assimilation is diminishing the number of Jews in the world. The situation is so grave that there are experts who call it the Silent Holocaust. The rate of assimilation today is higher than ever. There is a real danger of Jewish existence and continuity in the diaspora. On a global perspective, there is a negative demographic growth of Jews in the world. The same people who were given the promise to be a great and mighty nation. The Zara Foundation was established in order to open the door to thousands of rejected Jews, enabling them to return to their people and their land. Today, thanks to the internet, Thousands of communities are rediscovering their roots, while the prophets have commanded us to bring them back. This is the promise of the Torah, the gathering of the forsaken ones of Israel. The voices are increasing and multiplying around the world. In remote communities, ancient traditions are being revived. Jewish blood is alive in distant veins, and lost sons want to return home. Studies have shown that the number of Maranaos descendants is estimated in the millions. This is the first year that Zara Israel has begun operating in Brazil, and the accomplishments thus far are quite impressive. <laughs> to fulfill the commandments of the prophets and gather the forsaken ones of Israel, returning them to the fold of Judaism.